YouTube is clearly a fabulous resource for digital video that can greatly enrich your online learning content. The challenge really is to how do we best integrate that into our content and lay it out in a way that's both responsive and gives information to students. This is the purpose of the YouTube Embedder, and I'll show you later on how to add this to your own browser bar. But before I do that, let me show you what it does. When you have chosen a YouTube video, click on the YouTube Embedder, and you'll be taken to a site that will provide a couple of things for you. It will put the video into this little video box that will include the title of the video and its playtime. It will also include a summary description as provided by the video author, and then the video itself. This video is fully responsive, which means that as the video browser grows and shrinks, so does the video itself. So it's excellent for people on multiple devices on different screen sizes. What I can simply do now is to click on the copy embed code link right at the top of this box, and then toggle over to Moodle. Now here I'm in a particular uh, chapter within a book. I'm in the editor. And what I've got copied is a snippet of HTML. So in order to add this to this particular chapter, I need to first toggle into HTML view, which I can do simply by clicking on this little icon here, and then decide where within the page I want the video to be displayed. Now, not everyone is comfortable in HTML. It can look a little scary at first, but if you can look for some roadmaps, perhaps you want it just ahead of this setting, then all I need to do is paste it directly above that and things should be safe. So as I swap back now to the traditional WYSIWYG view, you'll notice now that that video has been added. It includes its title and playtime. This is the description as copied from YouTube. There's too many words in here, so I'm going to spend a few moments to thin this out. Uh, but it's a lot quicker than having to copy and paste this text separately. So you can simply tweak the words that have already been provided to you, and then you're ready to go. So once I've done that, I can save this for my students. I'll just switch back into not full screen, hit save changes, and there's the video playing in the page and appropriately sized. So the only thing now is to add the YouTube embedder to your own browser. To do that, go to the link that's provided with this video, click on the first time instructions, and then, and this perhaps is the most tricky part of the whole procedure, simply grab the YouTube Embedder link that's provided here, drag, and drop this up in your browser bookmarks bar. Once you've got the YouTube Embedder there, simply visit any YouTube video, click on the link, and you can then follow the steps as previously shown.